everyone, today I'm going to be doing a Carrie Bradshaw look from Sex and the City. Um, I actually love the show, I'm a big fan. Um, so, I'm first going to start with a bronzer. So you want to start off with any brown, brownish bronzer, it doesn't matter. As long as it's matte, it's okay. So, take a blush brush or bronzing brush, does not matter. And you want to just go all over your face as usual like you normally would. The lighting is terrible, I know. Well, might see me switching it on and off during the video to see if it looks better or not. I need my light. Now, I find all the looks that they have on the show quite summery and um, quite neutral, actually. Um, I do intend to do uh, the Samantha one. I, I'm going to do every every character so you'll kind of see but some of them are kind of similar but a little different in a way like with eyeshadows and stuff okay now that you've done that you want to take a little cheek brush I'm using my Lancome brush it's really soft and you want to use a little pink blush on top of the cheeks on, the che on top of the cheekbones because this is very neutral so you won't really see much but it still makes a difference, you know? I'm sorry if my videos have not been um, coming up lately because I'm very stressed and there's a lot of things right now. So I gotta just take a break for a while. Right. Now, take concealer. Now you wanna make sure that this is in a stick form. And I'm using the ELF's Cover All, not ELF, sorry, Wet n Wild. And, ooh, what's the, what's the moisture thing? Um, just take a concealer, and this one is in number 802, it is. I got it for about a dollar, it's really cheap. So this is, kind of acts as a little base. So go on your eyelid, all the way up to the brow bone. I will be using the same bases and meth methods for all of the characters because I don't know, but but I just feel like it's the right thing to do. So I'm going to use the same exact thing at the beginning, but I really love Carrie. Carrie's look. It's very pretty. With a little bit of color. Okay. Then we're going to take a light ivory color so just take any eyeshadow brush it does not matter um no i'm not gonna use this one i'm gonna use this one and you want to take a light ivory color so we're gonna use um this one right here this one's by sephora and it's this one why is the lighting so terrible it's right this one right there so it's kind of like a basically an ivory but it kind of looks I don't know, just a little bit hint of darker white, I guess. And you want to go only, on, not on the eyelid, but just the brow bone. It's very pretty. It's on the eyebrow bone, just for a little highlight, you know. Okay, now we're gonna take a bronzy gold eyeshadow. So, we'll use this one right here. Um, yeah, this one right here. It's this one. It's kind of, it's really pretty. It has a little bit of shimmer to it. You don't have to, it doesn't matter if it's matte or shimmery, you, you choose. And then you just want to put that on your eyelid. Alright. Let's see if that looks better for you. 
I don't know if you can see it, but we'll try. See how it turns out. All right. Ooh, sorry, that was my computer. Okay, so now we're gonna take a black eyeliner pencil. Where is it going? Here it is. And I'm just using the Rimmel one. You want to make a very thin line because all these looks are very, very thin and natural. So you want to make a very thin, very extremely thin line. And that's why I say go for pencil because liquid eyeliner, it kind of gives more of a dramatic look, if you know what I mean. So I would not use it for this look. I would use just pencil. And pencil is much cheaper. And then you want to put some on the lower lash line. I have to admit, I get quite inspired by that show. I love their clothes. It's really cute, very up-to-date in fashion. I'm very pleased with it. It's such a girly thing, you know what I mean? It's different on both sides. Okay, now, Take, we're going to go for a black mascara. So, just use any black, doesn't matter. Make sure you give it a little wiggle too. Helps. Okay. We're almost done. We're just going to take a little lipstick and then we're finished. So, I got so many lipsticks, I don't know which one is which. This is too natural. Well, hold on a minute. Where has it gone? Oh, well, we're just going to have to use this one for now. It's kind of like a, it's very pretty. I don't know if you can see it. But it's kind of like a little, very pretty pink with a little gold infused into it. So it's very pretty, and it's by Lancome, and it's the new pink. I agree. So start from the top. But I have to admit, I need very light pinks very neutrals. I don't need like dark pinks. So forgive me if it does not look good on me, but it looks terrific on Carrie, of course. AKA so Jessica Parker. Okay. And there you have it. A Carrie Bradshaw, AKA Sarah Jessica Parker, Sex in the City makeup look. I am, I'm terribly sorry about the lighting. Let's see if I can move you in maybe since so. So, that's how it looks. Hmm. Well, if you can't see it, you get the idea because I explained everything as I went along. So I'm sure you'll get the idea and then you'll try it on yourself and see how it looks on everybody. It will look great on everybody, I'm sure. But I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.